Captain Greg here with Learn to Fish with us. In this video, what I really want to do is I want to talk about the different units that you can use while ice fishing and how I use each and really the, the basics of each unit. So in this unit, this is a flasher unit. This is what I traditionally really like to use uh, when I'm ice fishing. It's very simple. You just turn it on and then you set potentially the depth the range you want and you also set the beam so on these two I actually have different beams that I can use a beam is shooting down so if it's a narrow beam it's going to shoot a narrow area versus a wider beam it'll shoot a wider area so understanding you know what beam you want especially in shallow water you want to go with a wider beam because if you're only shooting down like five six feet of water that beam is going to be like a foot where if you go with a wider beam, it could be two feet. Um, what I really also like about a flasher unit is you got your transducer and cord. You need to get the transducer just below the ice, but just pick it up and you can move on. So nice, simple use, you know, a flasher. Nice thing about an LCD is we have LCDs on our boat. So what you could use is you could take the graph that you're using in the boat and make it multi-purpose and be able to use it also for ice fishing. All you need to do is get a good a battery, an ice fishing transducer, and a case. So you can multi-purpose your unit. This unit here can be a uh, flasher unit. It'll just be LCD flasher unit. Or it can also be explaining this is what's below you, and then this is the history. So what you can do is actually see how the fish are reacting to your bait. Um, same thing. You just grab onto here. Transducer needs to be below the ice. And you can move around. Um, LCDs now with the temperatures and everything, you're really not going to have any issues. So uh, really simple to use. Definitely have a menu system and you just use the menu system on what options you want. And then finally we got the Garmin Panoptics. So this is really slick. I mean I use this, I live on Lake Winnebago, I use this a lot to find fish. So on here, if I had this unit turned on, I could go to forward view. And then what I would actually do is I would have the transducer faced going this way. Nice thing about this is I'm going to use forward view. And then what I'm going to be able to shoot do is shoot out 100 feet. And then what I can do is rotate this around. And what I'll be able to do is see if there's any fish within 100 feet. If I don't see anything, I move on, drill another hole, same thing. Go and look and see if there's any fish. Let's say I find fish 50 yards that way. What I'm going to do is walk 50 yards that way. And then what I'm going to do is drill a hole over there. Then what I'm going to do is set, set my transducer down. And it's going to be set like this. And now what this is going to be is this is called, I'll go to my graph, set it to down view. I'll shoot down. But with a traditional graph here, I'm going to be able to see maybe four, six feet on the bottom. This one, I'm going to be able to usually see, let's say I'm in 20 feet. I'm going to see 20 feet this way, 20 feet this way. So what that does is it allows me to see which way the fish are swimming. It also allows me to see how the fish are swimming in the water column. Because what's really cool is this screen here is live for everything that's being shot. So there's no history on here. It's all live. So we'll see fish swim in, and then we'll see how they react to the bait. Another nice feature with this is I can drill a hole in the center. Then I could drill a hole two feet that way and two feet this way, put our shanty over us. And now we can actually fish with both of us using this transducer. So what this is really cool is it allows me to see what's going around, going on for the whole area that's really around me. Um, but a disadvantage to this, for one, this is very expensive compared to these. So that might be something. Um, and when I go, I got to carry all this with me. This unit sucks up a lot of battery power. So... I always have to make sure to have a spare heavy-duty battery with me. Um, 
But if you put a lithium in here, you could make this uh, unit a little bit lighter. So compared to these units, this is a lot heavier. So you, you can definitely see that there's definitely benefits to each. So a couple other tips I'd like to talk about on our units is um, when you go out, make sure that you know that they're fully charged. You know, the night before, make sure to put the charger on them. Um, another thing is when you're not using these units, when not using the units, especially, you know, over, you know, when you're done with it in winter and if you're not going to be using it, make sure to unplug the leads so that they're not hooked up and no power is being drawn. Uh, another tip would be is protect your screens. Like here I have a plastic cover. What you can actually buy is protective screen covers that you could just put on there along with having this. Always make sure that if you have a cover that you have it on here. We have also soft cases to protect everything around. You may have this thing fully charged and all of a sudden you have a great day of fishing and you stay on the ice all day. Make sure to have a spare lithium battery with you because it's just as easy as popping that battery out, putting this in, and lithium batteries are light and they'll last a long time. So that's a quick review on the different uh, fish finders. If you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments. Um, and what I can do is get back to you a little bit because as you can see, I use many different manufacturers and uh, different equipment uh, while I'm ice fishing. So this is Captain Greg with Learn to Fish with us.